guys. We have a new guy for you tonight. He's a new guy to Anchorage. He is from all the way from Baltimore, Maryland. Um, he sent his Elvis his love child, which I thought was awkward because it doesn't look like Elvis at all. Different hair. Uh, other than that, uh, that's all I know about him. How about a round of applause for Two Piece, everybody? <laughs> Hey. Hello, Snow Goose. How you doing, Snow Goose? Yeah. All right, what's going on? I'll, I'll tell you what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we made it out of this, well, we made it to a new year. Out of 2014, the worst year in the history of years. Even dating way back when man walked with dinosaurs, those years was better than 2014. And I'll tell you, it started out good. We had the Seattle Seahawks winning the Super Bowl. Yeah. Hell yeah. Then we had our own Aces winning the Kelly Cup. <laughs> For the third time, you feel right? Hell, I don't even watch hockey and I got excited with that. My nipples <laughs> got hard. I ain't know what was going on. <laughs> Hell yeah. Then, to top it all off, McDonald's brought back the McRib sandwich. <laughs> and if you say sandwich the way I say sandwich, oh, it was a big thing, let me tell you. Because like we they say, like we say down south, if you can't eat pussy, eat a rib. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? Because one way or another, we're going to get eat. <laughs> Oh, let me tell you, oh, I was happy. I was enjoying it. You know, the only fear I had at the time was dying with McDonald's wrappers around me, my hand on my dick, and barbecue sauce on my lips. Because <laughs> if you don't know, <laughs> pork can kill you. <laughs> Especially black people. Pork kill more black people than black people kill black people. <laughs> and everybody knows black people know how to kill black people. <laughs> But I ain't never hear a black man dying from going down on a woman. <laughs> he may got locked jaw. <laughs> but I ain't here about dying. <laughs> you know, so I, I'm happy. I'm feeling good. You know, 2014, running into the summer. And then all of a sudden, the Asians, the Asians, gonna fuck everything up. Just like a foreign exchange Chinese student dropped in your math class, fucking up the grade, the, the grade on the curve. <laughs> oh, you know what I'm talking about. Cause everybody know they A's, and I was working on the D just so I can get a C. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shit. And you know, they, they must, they, they lost, you know, I'm wondering what the, what's going on? How do you lose a fucking plane? A big ass plane, I gotta understand a little twin engine plane. You know, we expect them to fall out the sky. Hell, we, you think that's a part of the flight plan. They fall out the sky so damn much. You know what I'm saying? So, and then they got the world, the Asians got the world listening for pings from a black box. And you know, the black box had cheap batteries in it <laughs> because the box was black. Come on now. So I'm, I'm listening to the news and they keep saying, uh, black box this, black box this. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm getting mad. I'm saying, damn it, I don't even like black boxes no more. <laughs> I had to make sure I ain't had no goddamn black boxes in my house. You know what I'm saying? Then, then, then I'll come to find out the black boxes wasn't even really black. <laughs> and I said, wow. So all of a sudden I started feeling the pressure lift off. I was feeling good. I'm you know, it's pressure being black. And if you don't believe me, okay, let's think about it. You got black bowl. You got black sheep. You got black ice. And you got black eye. Which one of those motherfuckers do you want? <laughs> oh, don't nobody want nothing black, especially Donald Sterling. <laughs> he reminded us all why we should hate black men. <laughs> Especially after you buy yourself a tight little piece of ass like he did, and then all of a sudden some good looking black guy with a big dick going to stretch your pussy all out after you just brought it. <laughs> you know, he brought it. You know, he gave a house, two expensive cars, and like we say down south, <laughs> a blowjob is cheaper. 
Oh, it may cost you more if you wanted to lick your nuts, but hey, <laughs> sometimes they do it for free. <laughs> so I'm saying, you know, I'm all confused. I'm feeling all conflicted all inside, you know, because my blackness is being challenged. Not like it hasn't been challenged before, but usually I had a black woman to yell at, <laughs> but she left me because I was black. <laughs> And the crazy thing about it, she was darker than me. <laughs> she was so dark, I had to get a hundred and twenty white light bulb. That's <laughs> why so I wouldn't bump into her. <laughs> you know, so you know, then, 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 then while the whole world wasn't paying attention to nothing, you know, they had poop. Motherfucking poop. Right on the other side of the world, go and take the country and expect us to be excited. Hey, the joke was on him. Hell, we didn't even know. Didn't know or care where the country was at. Even the weatherman had to look at a global map to point out where the fuck it was at. Then you had President Obama asking, is that where Bloody D is from? Because if they don't get basketball players, we ain't liberating shit up in here. That's why they still took <laughs> You know? So then, you know, then Africa. Oh, don't leave out Africa. You know, if the world wasn't scared enough, Africa gave us Ebola. <laughs> when I, you know, Ebola, I heard that. I thought it was an African hand cream. I, I was wondering if it come with cocoa butter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Ebola, the African hand cream with cocoa butter. <laughs> oh, I was excited. <laughs> but then, you know, found out Ebola was racist. Oh yeah, it was racist because it was killing all kinds of black people. Then the white man got it and he was him. They just shot some penicillin up his ass. And the next thing you know, the female was riding bikes. The guy was just walking around hugging the president. And the black guy in Texas just died. They <laughs> didn't get that motherfucker not one shot. He's sitting in the waiting room. He said, I got Ebola. They said, well, son, take your hand cream and go wait in the waiting room. <laughs> You know, God, God had to have a plan. You know, God had to have a plan. Because when Ebola made it to our shores and our country, it went straight to the state and invented mad cow disease. How the fuck did that happen? <laughs> oh, oh yeah, Texas invented mad cow disease. Ask Oprah. <laughs> oh, some of y'all might be too young to know about that. Oprah didn't get that big by eating vegetarian shit, let me tell you. She used to love a steak. <laughs> so, you know, you, you in Texas, you got all these motherfucking cattle, and you got Ebola. If Ebola hit a cow with mad cow disease, and they cut it up in the steaks and feed it to a poor family, they gonna wake up in the morning hungry for brains. Oh yeah, they seem walking dead. They wanna eat a brain anyway, don't you all? Oh, hell yeah, you do. <laughs> hell yeah. Shit, white people, y'all eat some strange shit. We may eat shit that smell funny, but y'all eat shit that is funny, let me tell you. <laughs> I would say pussy, but I kind of got the taste for it myself. <laughs> it's just that I forgot how it tastes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What say? But uh, I'm fucking. <laughs> God damn, I almost made myself laugh, but that's not cool. <laughs> Cause it was in my head, it just wouldn't come the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? Man, so, you know, the world, it, but, but everything ended up great. Everything ended up great. Marijuana became legal. Oh, come on, God damn it, we're in Alaska. Marijuana became legal. motherfucking happy. Don't black people always try to tell white people to be happy? Where they get that shit from? You know, Bobby McFerrin, remember? Don't worry, be happy. <laughs> and then you have Pharrell with his funny looking hat saying, happy, happy, and there's more black unemployed men walking around this motherfucker sad as hell, <laughs> but singing happy. Oh, y'all don't know? You're looking at one. <laughs> Last time I had a job, I think Clinton was in office. Because <laughs> Bush didn't give me shit but a headache. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. And I love the man because I understood everything he said when he talked, because I was in, re in remedial reading twice. 
in the kindergarten. <laughs> How the fuck do they know you can't read in the kindergarten and you talk? You know what I'm saying? You can fake shit when you're in kindergarten. You know, all you gotta do is say, I like juice. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well, Johnny is good. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying the end of the, end of the year. Pot is legal. We sliding in to 2015. Hell yeah. Two thousand. Who had this wonderful New Year's Eve? The best night in the year for ugly people to get laid, let me tell you. Because you can't get laid on New Year's Eve, you too motherfucking ugly. <laughs> Don't worry about plastic surgery, just get the plastic. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I hope y'all all had New Year's sex. Everybody had it? God damn it, two women and no men. What the fuck? I love it. I'll see you.